How you guys doing? It's it's early in the morning. I'm just waking up, but check this out. We got blue skies today, which is good because today we set sail for the Trans America Trail. The Trans America Trail is a roughly 5,000 mile long trail consisting of mostly dirt tracks and backcountry routes through some of the most rural countryside in the United States. Spanning the entire length of the country from North Carolina in the east to Oregon in the west. What's up, Mike? You ready to do this? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get you loaded up and then we'll hit the road. <laughs> hey, you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, after me? Okay, let's go. We got a little late star on the day, but uh, here, here we go. Uh, <laughs> the beginning of our trip, Mike. How do you feel? The sun's right in our eyes, just like always. I can't believe we're on another trip. Yeah, we'll see where this one ends up being, Mike. And we should probably tell the people that uh, we're, we have some maps for sale. So on the Ride More Store website, you're going to see some TAT Trans America Trail maps, which we're going to be following on this trip, and then we're going to be we're going to make them public to you guys through our website. So anybody in any state that has the TAT running through it can hop on there, buy some maps, and uh, ride the same trail that we're going to be riding in this whole series of videos. So if you're if you're interested in that, go check it out. RideMoreStore.com. It's in the description. All right, our first gas fill up of the trip. Many more to come. So far, what, it's probably eight o'clock. We'll ride a little bit more and see where we end up. The pitch a tent, this, this little block. But check this out, Mike. We, we could totally camp right here. Looks like it's where boats launch, but that's a perfect spot. Yeah, let's check it out. Sweet shades, man. Hey, you said you need some glasses, right? <laughs> but hey, check this out. Yeah. This is a perfect spot to camp. Mike and I just bombed through. You probably can't see it. We just bombed through to this uh, area right by the lake here. We're about, what are we, nine miles from the New York Bridge. New York. So tomorrow we'll be in New York. And we're going to set up the tent. Yeah. right over here somewhere next to the bikes and we'll probably see you guys in the morning yeah that's it my headlight blew out and Mike's headlight blew out yeah that's right There's no oil leaks yet <laughs> yeah so so far so good so we'll see you guys in the morning here we go hey guys it's morning I'm getting out of here because I gotta take a leak real bad something fierce <laughs> will he make it yeah I'm gonna make it okay we got a little damp last night, but oh boy, camera's all fogged up. Oh my God, there is smoke in the water. So right over there is New York. We'll be passing there in just a few miles. What do you have to say, Mike? Oh, I have back. to say that we're gonna be on the road in a few minutes. That's right. It's looking like it's gonna be a pretty decent day. Get the bikes fired up, tent packed. We'll burn down some miles. I think that's the cops. Last time I checked, the cops don't drive mom vans. <laughs> Undercover. Undercover mom van cop. As the war machine keeps turning. Thank you. 
hottest deals of the day. We're gonna bring it to you right here on on YouTube. Seems like gonna be this, huh? That, that, might, that might be the deals of the day. There he is. Someone already said our bikes are wicked awesome. Really? Yeah. So Mike and I are gonna try and stay up to date on the social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and all that stuff. Here we are at Walmart, getting some food. We got yogurt, tuna, something. Break your turn thing off. Oh. Uh, I did forget to mention that we bought Hot Pockets, and our idea was to do like we did with the MREs, if you guys remember that. Shove them underneath the engine and warm them up that way while we ride, but we were mistaken, they came in plastic. Wow. So we'll have to rig something up. We don't have tin foil. I guess we could go buy some, but. So Mike's got his hot pocket right down in there. And then for mine, I borrowed Mike's tape and I shoved it right there. You can see I taped it right, right to that. Should hold up pretty good. We'll see how it cooks. Care to join me for breakfast? <laughs> I will join you with these purple chairs. This is what they're made for. You're just busted. <laughs> oh, it is busted. <laughs> All right, let's get the goods. Cool. So, we get a yogurt. Nice, we get two of them. Eat them before the sun gets them. <laughs> All right. They don't make them big enough for one person anyway. No, definitely not. Can we get a green banana? <laughs> one green banana. You know what they say about green bananas. The more you eat, the more you and for dessert, get a stomach ache. Get yourself an extra pie. All right. Let's eat, we're gonna find out where we need to go because we still don't know where we're going. And that'll be that. He's trying to get his kickstand down in the grass. <laughs> the KLR hop. <laughs> Inspecting the bread bag. Yep, looks good. Find a friendly tree, check his dipstick. <laughs> oh, right on the tick nest. Oh, looks like he's coming back. Probably gonna try to pop a wheelie. <laughs> You like, Brad. <laughs> something cracked. <laughs> you look like some sort of movie star with the hair blowing your yeah. your hair around wind. Lunch? Lunch. Well, I'll check mine. Ooh, it's pretty warm under here. Can you believe this whole building is abandoned? Oh, there's a Oh Mike. That's warm. <laughs> Mine's warm, how's yours? Oh, you didn't check it yet. I just burned the skin off the back of my knuckle there. <laughs> Touched the exhaust? Yeah. Oh, seared it. Yeah, it is. Yeah, mine's warm. Yeah, mine's too. <laughs> Let's eat. Let's have them. All right, Hot Pockets. If you guys are watching, we want a sponsorship. Hot Pockets across the U.S. Next uh, next trip we take, we want full sponsorship, Hot Pockets, do it. I think it would be wise for them to do that. That's right, we're cooking Hot Pockets on our KLRs, our motorcycles. Pulling over to suit up. <laughs> Started to rain a little bit more, but it's not too severe. Yeah. You said your boot was getting wet? <laughs> how could that how could that be? From the spray on this side. There's not enough tape. But you <laughs> not enough tape. <laughs> okay, let's gear up. Looking pretty snazzy. This is my new raincoat. Viking raincoat. Man, my hair looks crazy, huh? Mike, you gonna shave my head on this trip? Me, I was gonna give you more traditional scissors here. Get a mohawk. <laughs> mohawk. If you guys wanna see me, give Jeremy a haircut. 
Yeah. Ten likes and we'll do it. <laughs> Ten likes. <laughs> you guys gotta see what kind of haircut I should get. Mohawk. Or I, I could just grow it out and leave it. But it's kind of squishing my brain when I put my helmet on. But <laughs> What do you think? You guys gotta let us know in the comments what kind of haircut Mike should give me. What do you think? Raincoat on. You got yours on. High visibility. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to, we looked at the weather, it's supposed to clear up actually, which it already looks like it's clearing up, but we're showing up anyways, and I don't know, we'll hit the road and see how much further we can get. All right, we just rode through quite a lot of, quite a lot of rain. Yeah, a little Mike, bit. Mike and I are on the side of the road. What do you think we're going to do now, Mike? What do you want to do? Rest our buns a second. And, then... <laughs> and hammer down some more miles. I don't know. I mean, look at our feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have to resort to the bags already. The second day of the trip, but hey, check this out. Look at this place. Nothing. Just, just nothing going on. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? I was able to confirm that indeed my crotch is very wet. <laughs> yeah, well, you got your awesome pants on. Yeah, look at the peeling. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my my danners are pretty soaked. How about yours? My right one more than the left. Yeah, <laughs> I wonder why. I tape them both. So what do you think we should do? Well, you know, it does look like a pretty good spot back there. We it, can wheelie right in. Yeah, I know. You could ride the whole way and be still be hidden by the road. Look at that. Prime. What I mean is still six o'clock. But it's only quarter past six. Yeah. But then again, it, we're probably going to die from people rear-ending us in the fog. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'd even make it through that. Oh, nice swamp. Part of rain. Okay, so we looked at the forecast on, on our phones, and it looks like straight rain for uh, a week at least. So Mike and I are suiting up, and we're just going to hammer through some more rain. Putting on our bags. <laughs> and Mike's putting on the, uh, the bags over the socks, under the boots. I feel like I'm cracking my phone in half whenever I bend over. <laughs> You're telling me I'm wearing three pants. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. I won't be able to film because the rain's going to destroy my GoPro if I try. So we'll see you wherever we end up. And that's what that's what's up. So guys, I just remembered something. Right now, this camping trip right here is Mark's five years of camping every single weekend without missing any. That's 260 weeks I've now camped in a row. Five years. Five years. Didn't miss a single time. Not a single weekend miss. Let's hear it in the comments. Congratulate Mike on five years. Not many people. I can't even think of a person who's I'll done that. I'll challenge you guys. If you like camping, try one year. Yeah. And then you're going to be so close to five, you won't be able to give up. <laughs> five years. Yeah. So Man. we actually did more than 260 camping trips because we've done a lot on camping full time on motorcycle trips and whatnot. But at least once on the weekend, a camping trip. For five. And sometimes more. Five years. It's crazy. Yep. Congratulations. Should I go for 10? <laughs>